Liam, just how satisfying is that win? Yeah, all credit to the players. Uh, difficult few weeks in terms of results, injuries, decisions going against us. So for them to show the character and the mentality and the desire to firstly keep a clean sheet and secondly win the game, uh, yeah, it makes me a really, really proud manager tonight. I know you mentioned Jack Clark in the build-up to this game and keeping him quiet, but they obviously had other threats, Pritchard as an example, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all over the, the place. Pitch. All over the pitch. That's why they're up there with us. They're a very, very good team. Um, and I felt the players acquitted themselves, stuck to the game plan, and understood what we wanted to do and carried it out superbly well and Fabio deserves his goal for the way he's come in, the way he's conducted himself and hopefully he has a few more magical moments like that. Did it in difficult circumstances as well, didn't he? He just had, he had to keep roaming around looking for spaces, didn't really yeah, get much licence to they, do what they, he wanted. They marked him really tightly because they know what a good player he is. But the thing is, with top players, when the moment comes, they take advantage of it. And, and earlier in the season, we had moments we didn't take advantage of, and that's why we worked so hard to bring him in. It's a f I know it takes a deflection, but his technique to keep it on target is absolutely top. And uh, hopefully he gets a few more between now and the end of the season. I know there was five bookings in the first half, but that first 45 minutes keeping everyone at arm's length, was that just the, the perfect first half that you would have needed? I know obviously no, you would want to be in front, of course you goal. would, but in terms of tactical yeah, keeping them quiet. To, you have to understand the atmosphere, you have to understand where you're going, and I felt we kept the ball in stages really, really well. I felt we could have kept it better at times with a little bit more calm, but that was the game plan, was to try, try, try and take the energy out of the stadium, and you have to be brave to do that, to take, keep taking the ball off the goalkeeper, inviting them to press, for the centre-halves again were magnificent. Um, yeah, but the credit goes to the players, not to, to me or any, anyone else. They, they carried out the game plan, they were on the pitch, they're throwing their bodies on the line. It was similar to Middlesbrough at the end when the keeper's up and everyone's in the box, and that shows the spirit of the group. And the pleasing aspect for me is in our difficult moments in the last few weeks, the players have showed the same commitment in training, the same spirit, the same mentality, and we have to keep that. That's the most important thing. You know, more important than um, signing players or more important than anything else is the spirit and togetherness in the dressing room. And that's going to be massive, massive lift for, for those lads going into what's now going to be a two week break. Well, he was here as a player in the last league victory. How I different is it? I remember that. When yeah. was that? Tw Boxing Day 2014. Oh, flip it. I remember that now. Yeah, Curtis fell over the ball in the first minute and I think <laughs> Yella scored. Uh, that was a good day. Uh, yeah, so yeah, really, really nice to come here and win. Uh, means nothing. We, we need to now continue in this vein of form and get some more results under our belts. So no difference between winning as a player here and winning as a manager? It's different. It's a different thing. It's relief. When you're a player, you're dancing in the dressing room, you're laughing with your <laughs> mates. When you're a manager, you're thinking about the next day and what you need to plan. But no, I'll enjoy it. Uh, but it doesn't mean anything if we don't continue this, this, uh, in this vein now.